Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video. Well, you probably saw it in the title already. I'm going to show you how you can make your, uh, your prints fit, right? And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to show you in Bamboo Studio how you can split your object in half. Now, if you're not aware, I have a primary YouTube channel where I do 3D modeling. I had that channel for 10 years and um, so for me personally, my preference would be to model something in a way that's already separated in parts even before I bring it into Bamboo Studio. Now the thing is though, that's not always possible because sometimes it's maybe not your model, right? Sometimes you got somewhere and just because there's such a cool feature in Bamboo Studio, I prefer to do it here if I can, right? And I'll show you what I mean. So I have this dog right here that I got off of Maker World, right? And I scaled it up to 500%. So initially it was something like this. But let's say I like this kind of dog. I want it to be much, much bigger. So we're going to go with 500. Now, when I do that, you can clearly see that's not going to fit. There's part of the snout here that's not fitting. Part of the tail end is not fitting. And what am I going to do? Now, let's say I would want to rotate it. Uh, it probably would still not fit, right? Because yeah, there you go, it's way too high. So that wouldn't fit either. So what am I going to do? Well, uh, Bamboo Studio has a very, very cool feature where you not only can cut the uh, model in half, uh, but you can also have it automatically create a peg and a hole. So once it's printed out onto print plates, you can easily connect it together. And uh, I think that's a very, very cool. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay. So we got our little dog here. And what I want to do is I want to cut him in half. So we're going to go up to the cut tool up here or hit the shortcut C on your keyboard. If I click on it, it's going to uh, come up with an idea and say, Hey, do you want to cut it like this? Well, obviously not because it would still not fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this up like so. Let's say I want it to be a bit further back. I can do that. I can just pull here until this is basically in the middle, right? And I'm pretty confident that this would fit. Now, what I want is I want to add connectors. I want to add that peg and that hole. Okay. So I'm going to click on add connectors and now I just see the back end here. All right. So I need to indicate where I want to have this connector. So I'm just going to click on this field right here and it's coming with a, uh, coming up with a big, big square and I can tweak that. I think the size is too big. So let's bring that down a little bit. That should be plenty. And the depth ratio, I'm going to tweak that as well. Let's see if it's creating that. There you go. And let's do a little bit less here. That should be fine, right? Now, the cool thing is this is going to be created uh, automatically, but on the opposite end, there's going to be a hole that's a perfect match for this. And uh, hey, that's pretty cool, right? So let's say I'm happy with this. I'm going to click on confirm my connectors. When I do that, I get a um, basically an image of our dog with the two sections here. And once I'm happy with everything, what I can do is click on perform cut. When I do that, I now get my two parts. I have the front end with that peg and I have the bottom part with that hole in it. Okay. Now you're probably thinking, well, Hey, it still doesn't fit. Well, it probably would. If I just took this guy, move it over and took this guy and move it over. But let's say I want to have it on multiple plates. As you can see, I don't have to in this scenario, but let's say I would want to, I would click on new plate. I would take this guy, I would move it over there and then we would uh, click on center that on the plate and just like this guy, center that on the plate and there you have it, right? And now we could easily print both of these parts without any issue. So yeah, I think that's a very, very cool feature. Uh, let me know in the comments if you got any requests in the Bamboo Studio or if you want me to model something or manually slice it up in different software and I'll happily do so, right? And if you haven't checked out my other channel, hey, I'll put a link below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.